all right you guys welcome back to my channel this is Nadea J and in today's video this is going to be my third declutter video so this is my eyeshadow declutter series and this is the third part now if you've watched the first and second part you know that I am trying to reduce my eyeshadow palette collection because of space and also it really doesn't make sense keeping these products if I'm not going to use them I've given myself enough time to at least get some use out of some of them and I still haven't so I'm going to be really really brutally honest with myself and try and get rid of as much as I possibly can um this is not a numbers exercise this is actually quite difficult for me but I need to be realistic but anyway if you've watched the first and second part thank you so much I hope you enjoy this part I can definitely tell you guys that this is going to be one of the hardest um, ones for me because there are a lot of palettes here that I love. So hopefully I get rid of as much as I want to. But yeah, let's jump right in. We've already got a few here. So these are the Day Day Signature Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. And I did a review of some of these palettes on my YouTube channel and also I have swatches on my Instagram so this is the peach peach palette now these palettes are very pigmented and they're very very beautiful i'm actually going to take that away because it really annoys me they're very beautiful very pigmented palettes and i've loved them i've been using them off camera as well so i am going to hang on to them um and i really like how small they are and that you can create really beautiful looks using them individually and also combining them so this is the peach one this is the passion fruit one, which is one of the ones that I reviewed. Let's get rid of that. This makes it easier to access. Um, this is the avocado one. I've used this one as well in the video, which looks like that. So I'm keeping all of them. This is the blueberry palette. I, I it's just really, really pigmented and it's so pretty. Um, there's no reason for me to get rid of it because I do enjoy it. And this is the coconuts. I do have a discount code with Daily Signature. All my discount codes, um, I will link it with my link tree in the description box. So definitely check that out if you're interested in any of these eyeshadow palettes and you want to know if I've got a discount code with them. So I do have one for Daily Signature, which is Medea J. Beautiful. They do have a UK stockist as well, House of Clarivon definitely check them out so i'm keeping all of those next up i think there's going to be quite a few minis here i've got these two eyeshadow palettes from Aether beauty Aether beauty are um also an indie brand they're very ethical a lot of their practically all of their packaging is recyclable and the quality of their shadows are amazing so this one is called the mini crystal palette um ameth amethyrine mini crystal palette and this is what it looks like i really do love this one i haven't particularly used this shade but i've actually used the second one and the quality is really really good so i am going to keep this one and this is the second one which is called topaz beautiful golds they're very good accompanying palettes for um matte palettes if you wanted to create shimmer look um if you wanted to use some shimmer on your eyes i haven't given them as much love as i should but i will so those ones i am keeping next up we've got a few huda beauty palettes so this is the mauve obsession from huda and this is what it looks like i've had this palette for quite a long time now um, I'm going to put this in a maybe pile because I do have a Lime Crime palette. Actually, let me grab that Lime Crime palette and do that. Right, so this is the Lime Crime Greatest Hits Classic palette. And I recently got this. And it does have a few of the shades from the Huda Beauty palettes. So let's prop that. So I'm kind of like contemplating. So this one, this one are very similar. This and this are very similar. I don't have a white shade and I don't have a darker shade in there. So this was the palette I was thinking I would keep this and not keep this. But there are a few shades in here. So I'm guessing both of them are like accompanying palettes for me. Um, so I will keep 
the mauve obsession one i just need to remember to use it um we're not getting off to a great start here <laughs> so i'm definitely keeping the lime crime one because it is brand new i haven't used it um and then emerald obsession i've got a video up on my youtube channel using this palette i do like the pigmentation of this palette um one of the shades i think it's this one or maybe this one is a bit crumbly but for the most part i do like the pigmentation of this palette so i am going to keep it um yeah ruby obsession as well i do have a, a video using this palette she's stunning and i don't have um a palette that's got like this type of color story like specific and isn't just like a huge eyeshadow palette so i'm gonna keep this one as well seems like i'm keeping a lot <laughs> all right let's get into some mini mac palettes now it's gonna be time for me to retire some of these palettes this is the mac Maya carry um eyeshadow palette this one is in it's everything and this is limited edition i did get some use out of this and i think it's time for me to take it out of my collection it's one of those collections that is limited edition so i would like to keep it for that purpose and display it on my vanity or on my shelf but it's gonna come out of my collection so technically i am decluttering it um because i think it's really old i shouldn't really use it and then this one is i'm that chick you like which is this one so i did get both of the palettes that came out i'm really sorry if you guys can hear some vibrations my uh, washing machine is on and it's right underneath me so that's this one so i am gonna i'm i'm gonna display these but they're coming out of my they're coming out of my collection and then i've got the mac um riri collaboration this is the only one that i picked up and this one is smoked cocoa again it's coming out of my collection I'm just going to display it because it's limited edition and then the mac cinderella collection in stroke of midnight i did enjoy using this um then but looking at it obviously it's too cool tone it's not dark enough for me it's coming out of my collection and then i've got the visart viziart dark edits palette now this is a really really good palette I do have a review of this up on my YouTube channel. And this is what it looks like. This is good for traveling. This was the reason why I picked it up. Um, I do like to buy travel type of palettes. The color story is very, very pretty and very rich. And it is very, very pigmented. So we are going to hang on to that one. <laughs> Hanging on to a lot. Hang on to that one. Right, so this one I am going to get rid of. So this is the, this is, um, what is this? This is a palette, it's like a collection box or something from Tarte. I forgot what this one is called, but it's the one with the four eyeshadow. Can you guys see me? I hope not. <laughs> it's the one with the four, um, four color stories and you kind of just pop it out and pop it into this little container here to make your own palette um and then gloss and mascara um i've only swatched this palette so it's gonna leave my collection because i haven't got any use for it so that's going and then <clears throat> i've got the jeffree star mini breaker palette i've only used one shade and to be honest, it was a little lackluster for me. It didn't build up as well as I was hoping. It was a bit dusty and a bit of an effort. So this is leaving my collection. I'm actually, I think I've put it on sale even on my Depop. So if you're interested, definitely check out my Depop. Because um, I bought this palette. So yeah. And then <laughs> the Jeffree Star, what's this one? Um, Bloodlust palette I'm getting rid of. This one, I'm I'm hurting that I'm getting rid of it because I had high expectations for it. But it's let me down so much. Um, only a few of the shades are stunning. It's so hit and miss. And um, again, Jeffree Star, 
I just don't want trouble. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of this one. But pretty much it's because of the quality of the palette. I'm not really too much a fan of it. All right, so we've got a few, I say a few, but it's quite a lot, of ABH palettes. So let's quickly run through them. Um, this is the ABH Artist palette. It's what it looks like. When it came out, it was stunning, but a lot of the shades, so the yellow and the blue, were really dusty. And it kind of just like put a bitter taste in my mouth, so I never reached for it. So I'm going to get rid. And then I've got the... What's this? World Traveler palette. This was one of my favorites. As you guys can tell, I've hit pan and actually made a big dent in a lot of these shades. And I do love this palette. Um, but it's time to let it go. It's, it's a pretty old palette. Um, so yeah, it's time to go. Sultry palette. This was a gift. This was a birthday present from a friend. Um, I haven't used it, so I'm definitely keeping this one. okay novena palette i recently picked this one up i've used it once or twice and i do love the pigmentation of this palette the shimmer shades are stunning the matte shades are stunning creates beautiful lilac lavender type of colors for me keeping subculture palette um hit or miss in some cases for me but generally, I love the grunginess. I've used this palette quite a bit. And I do want to get some more use out of it before it becomes completely dusty. Because mine is pretty old. So I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't performing as well. But I still want to get some more use out of it. So I'll keep this one. Prism palette. It is, yeah. This one didn't get as much love when it first came out. So I have been using it off camera as well. And I am loving the pigmentation of this one, especially the shimmer shade. So I'm going to keep this one. The thing is, once there's a black in a palette, it kind of gives me hope that there's a lot more potential to the palette. So I definitely want to keep this one and have more of a play with it. Riviera palette. Now this one didn't get any time to shine. Um, it's pretty much brand new in my collection. I haven't used it at all. Um, it's so, so pretty. Love the pigmentation um, of the look because obviously I haven't used it. Love the color story. So I am definitely going to keep this one. ABA Jackie Aina is so obsessive that I'm thinking of picking up a backup of this one because this is my go-to travel palette. I used this throughout before the beginning of um, covid when I was going for events, this would be the palette I would chuck in my bag and I would always have sultry, sexy looks. And yeah, I love this palette. It's such a beautiful palette. It's on sale a lot. So I'm hoping I'll be able to pick up a backup before they completely discontinue it. Self-made palette. Looks like this. This was my favorite shade, Pink Champagne, but I think it's present in another palette which I am keeping, or maybe not. I'm getting rid of the World Traveler because the shade is in there as well. Um, but this is pretty old as well. And to be honest, that's the only shade I dip into. Um, so I think I will let it go because it's, it's pretty old. Soft Glam Palette. Love her. Everyday palette. Work appropriate. If you're looking for a neutral palette to use every day for work, this is your girl. She will not let you down. She's stunning. You've got black. You've got some neutral shades, beautiful shimmer shades. Keeping. Carly Bible palette. Haven't used her. I don't know what it's like. Um, it's on sale at the moment at Look Fantastic. So if you're interested in this color story, definitely check it out. I haven't used it, so I can't tell you if it's great or not. Um, but I wanted to just pick it up because obviously I have a lot of the ABH palettes. And then I've got this one from Trixie. This is the Bottle Blonde palette. I recently did a video using this palette. It's not going anywhere. It's a stunner. I love it. Love the color story. Love the look that I created. Love the amount of looks I can get out of it. I'm definitely keeping this one. All right. So. We've got this one from Terra Moon Cosmetics. Um, this is the El Barrio. Hope I'm not butchering it, but this is what it looks like. I did use this on 
Instagram and that's pretty much where I've used it which is quite terrible of me but I did create two separate looks using this palette and I do love the pigmentation of this palette I actually forgot that I have this palette which is terrible so I am gonna keep this one because she deserves more love also got the Midas Cosmetics Genesis palette I do have a review of this on my YouTube channel and yeah it's been battered a lot because I've used it a lot off camera and i do love the pigmentation of this palette this is a well loved and used eyeshadow palette i'll continue to use it and continue to love it because it's good it's really good so i'm keeping this next up i've got this palette from bella pierre this is a this is a good this is a decent eyeshadow palette but i've had this for quite a while now this was when bella pierre was still sending out pr um they sent this to me I created a few looks i loved it i used it for my everyday uh work look a lot and then you know you know how it is things move on so i'm definitely gonna get rid of this ace beauty oceanic palette she's gorgeous this palette i always reach into her when i'm using my collaboration with double down because it gives me all the green matte shades that i'm looking for all-in-one palette stunning eyeshadow palette definitely need to give it more love and use but i'm definitely keeping it because she is beautiful beautiful palette really well done beautiful um sorry i'm going really fast but i do have a lot <laughs> this is the mel cosmetics blueprint palette and honestly you guys i'm terrible i haven't used this palette um i haven't used it i've only swatched it um but it's stunning it's swatched beautifully i do have a few problems with some of the shimmer shades from melt but i think this one was good for me like it didn't swatch weird it swatched quite nicely and it wasn't as crumbly as the smoke session palette so i'm definitely going to keep this one because as i said i haven't used it and i purchased this palette i purchased all my uh, melt palettes and yeah i need to get more use out of them this is the Smoke Sessions palette. So this is the one that's given me the most problem because those um, shimmer shades are a bit stiff and it's a shimmer heavy palette. So I need to get maybe a sponge applicator type of brush or something, but it's a beautiful green eyeshadow palette. So I'm definitely going to pull it into a Shop My Stash because that will really make me figure out how to use it. And then Gemini palette. I love the matte shades in this palette, but again, the shimmer, the shimmer shades just gave me such a problem. Um, but it's mostly a matte eyeshadow palette, so and the colors are really up my alley. So I'm gonna keep this one for sure. God, there's a lot of keeping. I don't hear declutter What's going on. I knew this would be difficult. Um, Asa Beauty Joshua Tree. Um, desert matte palette i love this palette look asa beauty makes some of the most pigmented eyeshadow palettes that i've come across in a long time so definitely check them out for quality based eyeshadows this is a full matte palette and honestly don't let it just look at you like oh it's not really pigmented trust me it is freaking pigmented and you will enjoy it so definitely check it out if you're interested in some pigmented shadows. Charlotte Tilbury, um, the Icon palette. This is the only Charlotte Tilbury palette that I have, but it didn't really do it for me. Like I don't really understand the formula of this palette. Um, when I used it, it was fine, but I just feel like it's too much of an effort. So I am going to declutter Charlotte venus 2 from lime crime um this one i'm going to keep um i think i'm going to get rid if i haven't already get rid of the other one um the shades in this one is very unique that shade called pigeon you see it a lot in um, a lot of dual chrome palettes but i think the other shades stand up for themselves so i think i'm gonna hang on to this one the color story is pretty much what i like to wear so we're gonna keep that one Woma beauty black magic palette to be honest i've only used this palette once so it's very unfair for me to declutter it um i only used it in my video um for look fantastic i haven't even used it on my own youtube channel so 
let's hang on to Uoma for a little while because I didn't get to give it as much love as I should. Pure X Barbie palette. I do have a video on you on Instagram, I believe. I don't think I brought it to YouTube using this palette. For the most part, this palette is very cute. You do get some really cute looks, but it's still very, very basic. It isn't the type of palette that I go crazy for. The packaging is gorgeous. And so if I was going to keep it, it would only be because of the packaging. But we're not doing packaging today. So this one, regrettably, is going to go. But what I'll do is I'll give it to one of my nieces who really loves Barbie. Um, yeah, and she can she can play with it. A few Zoeva palettes. So this is the, this was the, was it the Plasia or what was it called? Collection. I got this at a bargain from TK Maxx for like 20 quid, all three palettes. So I'm not mad at it. And this one is the Coco Blend Shadow Palette. This is the one that I've used. And I really do love the pigmentation of this palette. I think it's very beautiful. It would have been great if this was a black but it's decent and i don't have any zoeva palette and i think that's the reason why i picked this one up so that's this one and then this one is called caramel melange i haven't used this one um it's a little lighter in color which looks like this it's stunning i'm not gonna lie it's so pretty so that's caramel melange and then the last one is blanc fusion this one is light. Which looks like this. So if I was gonna, excuse me, if I was gonna get rid of any of them, it would be this one. But I think because I got it as such a bargain, I actually do want to try it, and then I can get rid of it if I don't like it. But um, I do want to give the other two a go. This one was really good because I've used it, but then the other two, not so sure. So we are gonna give it a go and see. Um. Tarte Cosmetics Spicy Betch <laughs> Palette. I bought this uh, last year for my birthday. I believe it was last year or the year before. I think it was last year. And be best believe I haven't used it. I haven't used this palette, but I've heard great things about this palette. But will I reach into it? Is it a palette that will be like, yeah, I want to create a beautiful red look. I'm going to reach into this one. Probably not. So we are going to get rid of this. Um, Tarte in Tartlet in Bloom palette. She's not going anywhere. It's my cool tone neutral eyeshadow palette. I don't have a cool tone palette like this in this format, like this small format. And it smells it smells yummy. Tarte is good quality wise, so I'm gonna keep this one for sure. And then I've got the Tartlet Toasted palette. This one I've used more often. Um, I've used a lot of this one actually because it's warm beautiful perfect autumn type of eyeshadow palette i use it a lot uh in the autumn months so i'm gonna hang on to this one this one i don't think i've used what is it even this is the busy girl goals what is it this is okay this is an eyeshadow and it's an eyeshadow on face palette so we've got highlights so it looks like i've dipped into a few shades but it's so bland I'm not going to keep this one. No, I'm not going to keep this one. Um, yeah, I'm not going to keep this one. Sorry. And then Tarte, Tarteist Pro Remix Palette. I think this is the all shimmer palette. All majority shimmer palette. So this is what this one looks like. I don't think I've used this. I haven't used it yet. But it's so colourful, so pretty. It's got those um, shimmer shades that I like. You know, the stiffer shimmer shades that are just your know, standard shimmer shades. But they pop like crazy. It would be great if they had more matte shades. But there's an all essential black in there. So I can't complain. I'm going to keep this one. And then I've got the Tati Pro palette. This one I'm definitely keeping. This, this one I've used a lot. This is the matte palette with the shimmer shades along the side. This is the one that I said looks like... Uh, what's the shade from the Lime Crime palette? They look alike. Like th those dual chrome shades. There were a lot in... A lot of um, brands were putting them in their palettes back then. So I've got a few palettes that have that shade. But either way, I'm still keeping... 
keep you keep that's all i'm hearing myself say huda beauty does a dusk palette it's so hard um oh yeah i remember you i used this a few times and every time i use this palette i fall in love with it the problem that i have is that i don't remember to use this palette so probably what i need to do is put it in a shop my stash um because it would look good as an everyday type of eyeshadow palette i think the color story lends itself to that um i'll keep it in the packaging just in case if i do decide to just get rid of it so at least it's in the packaging but for now i'll keep it the rose gal remastered palette is actually one of my favorites from huda this one i love this one i did several looks on youtube on instagram I love this palette. It's got that all essential black. I haven't reached for it. How rude. I was saying I haven't reached for it in a while. Um, so I am going to keep this one. Right. So this is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. Um, I think I included this in a video recently on my YouTube channel. I have used it a few times, especially in Shop My Stash. And I do like the quality of this palette. So I am definitely going to keep this one. All right, so we're going into my Pat McGrath palettes. So this one is my recent birthday purchase. And this is the Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2 palette. This is the rose gold one. And this is what it looks like. I'm not getting rid of any of my Pat McGrath palettes, obviously, because I love them. I'm in love with Pat McGrath palettes, but I definitely want to show you guys so keeping one is mothership three subversive this one the packaging came really beat up which really upsets me but remove i don't think i've used this one i think i swatched it that's this one so pretty so stinking pretty This is the Mothership 2 Sublime. And as I mentioned in my second video, um, there are some Revolution Pro palettes that dupe these. Looks like this. So pretty. And I've got the Mothership 1 Subliminal eyeshadow palette this is the packaging for this one which looks like this this one i've used quite a bit i do like this one as well very cool tone very pretty this was my first pat mcgrath palette this is the mothership mega celestial divinity palette and the minute i got this one i was hooked I was hooked on Pat because the quality of these shades are stunning. Stunning palette, stunning eyeshadow, stunning quality. A black would have been great, but you guys know. I always say a black would have been great in a palette. So that's all my Pat palettes. And then a few Ofra palettes. So I've got the Ofra New Solstice palette which looks like this it's a beautiful um neutral type of eyeshadow but i actually didn't check these in terms of the shimmer from the second from one of the palettes i was considering decluttering from my second video this is neutral i use this when i travel i like this keeping good to go palette all right so this one i didn't particularly love i didn't particularly love this palette but i think i'm gonna keep that shimmer shade in the middle the shimmer shade is called all of the lights so i think i'm gonna pull that so you can actually lift these so let me do that real quick because so i do have a magnetic eyeshadow palette so you can you can take it out of the pan so i am going to take that one out of the pan and put it into a magnetic palette and get rid of this Next, I've got this one. This is the Glitch 2000 palette. I didn't particularly enjoy these ones. I didn't enjoy this. Um, it didn't give me the best type of pigmentation. 
I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I didn't particularly enjoy it. And then I've also got the Glitch palette itself. This one as well, I didn't I didn't particularly enjoy the colors in there or the um, quality of them. It's a pretty palette, don't get me wrong. I just didn't particularly enjoy it. So I'd rather give it to someone else. And then I've got the Pro palette. Let's see, does this one have the shade all of the lights no that's not what it's called oh all of the lights is also in here which is the highlighter shade that i've just pulled but this is what this one looks like it's a beautiful pro palette great for travel as well you can use these in your brows some beautiful blush shades highlighter shades eyeshadow shades definitely keeping this one all right, you guys, I think I should call it a day here. I, I kind of just want to keep it as one shelf so the videos are not too long. So um, let's see how many I decluttered this time around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen eyeshadow palettes decluttered so far so yeah i am gonna leave it here and then i'll tackle so there's gonna be a couple of parts to this so um yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the series let me know your thoughts um let me know if there are any eyeshadow palettes that you're like why are you getting rid of it so let's have a chat in the um comment section but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you like declutter, makeup reviews, plus size fashion posts. Definitely check out my channel. And remember, God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to someone today and black lives will always matter. And I'll catch you guys in a future video. Bye.